Okay, hello, it is Beauty Tip Tuesday, and I am so excited to be sharing with you a magic in a bottle. Um, I, I bet you want to know what the heck a magic in a bottle is, and this is um, none other than um, one of the most remarkable products that gives you multiple benefits from one product, and um, that is our breathable, oil-free, dermatologist-tested, clinically tested for skin irritancy and skin allergy, um, and will not stain your clothing too. That is our makeup finishing spray. So welcome, welcome. Um, in under 10 minutes, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about this uh, makeup finishing spray with you and the multiple benefits, why you're probably going to need more than one of these cute little bottles here, um, and uh, why, why it's so amazing and how it can benefit you and your skin and your makeup routine. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Margaret Lampkin, and I love helping women age backwards beautifully uh, with uh, Pilates and fantastic skincare. And so I love being able to combine both of those loves of mine um, and share them with all of you. So um, if you haven't checked out my uh, YouTube channel, you definitely can pop over to YouTube. Um, if you're not watching this here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe um, to my channel. I have lots of um, Pilates tips in there and short little videos that can help you um, look and stay fit uh, throughout um, uh, throughout the playlist. There's lots of different um, uh, short short and sweet uh, tips on on how to do Pilates at home. Some things with equipment, some things without. So I'd love for you to check that out. And then of course I have um, the skincare and also some other makeup uh, reels and tips there as well to share with you. So um, I love 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 you listening in, commenting, liking, sharing, all of those things. It really helps to kind of spread the word. And um, so I hope if you find this uh, content valuable, of course, like it and uh, share it with a girlfriend. But today is all about finishing spray. Now, summer is not here yet, but it is coming. I promise you it will be here very soon. And this makeup finishing spray is something um, made by Scandinavia. And they are a, a, a company that is very much on trend. They do uh, different or have different products like a finishing spray. But when I first saw makeup finishing spray, I thought, okay, well, this is actually something that I would only use um, after I'm finished with my makeup but guess what? You don't have to use it just after you're finished with your makeup. Um, so two camps, one person may be someone who is um, worried about makeup meltdown, right? If you might be the oily skin girl and you're just like, you know what? My makeup literally melts off my face, especially in the summer. And if you're on the drier side, you're like, you know what? I want my skin to just feel refreshed. And I also don't want any of my makeup to settle into um, any fine lines. And so there are multiple things that you can do with this finishing spray. So you're going to not want just one one of these, you're going to need several <laughs> for all the things. But let me tell you that um, I did pull up some of the statistics because I'm all about, you know, let's back it up with like, what, what are the, the consumer studies and everything too. Um, don't just take my word for it, but 88% um, of women that were in a study using this product agreed that it worked great at holding their makeup in their T-zone area and avoiding it or, or um, diminishing the amount of makeup meltdown that they incur. 94% um, of the women in the study said it keeps makeup looking freshly applied for hours and feels completely breathable. That's a key word, breathable. 92% said it helps avoid makeup meltdown. 86% said it makes skin look smoother. 80% said it keeps makeup out of fine lines. And 90% said it gives more confidence in their makeup, meaning they're going to have it on and they know that they're going to look good for the most, the rest of the day, really. Um, but not just finishing. So here's the deal. What you want to do is use this makeup finishing spray throughout the time you are applying your makeup. So let's say that um, you have applied your foundation primer, you're ready to apply some sort of foundation, whether it's a CC cream or a liquid foundation um, or even a powder, you would actually use this finishing spray in between and you would um, apply it. And the best way to do it is you always shake it up. And then what you'll do is you do a little X kind of like this. I'll do it here. You do a little X like that and then a T and it just kind of gives that overall um, 
staying power to whatever your next step might be. Um, you can also use this on a tool. So if you have a, a brush that you're using, you can also spritz it on the brush before applying. So um, that's important to remember as well. So you can't use like too much of it. Um, and it's also just going to help everything look really smooth. So if you're a dry girl, it's going to actually help to keep and seal in the moisture. So you're not going to feel as dry during the day. And if you're someone who's more of an oily person, you're actually going to find that this helps to seal in um, and help the, um, the makeup to seal on your skin and avoid it from melting off. So you're avoiding that makeup meltdown. So in between, let's say what I have been trying to do lately is foundation primer and then spritz the fish finishing spray, then apply the CC cream and then spritz again, and then apply my liquid foundation on top of that. So actually layering it. And then um, some days I use a powder, some days I don't probably more often I don't, um, but I do love the CC cream um, finishing spray and then a layer of the liquid foundation. And it just makes your skin look hydrated, fresh, um, but not shiny. And I noticed that it just, um, it stayed that way for, for a long time the other day when I, I was kind of just testing this out again. So I have re-fallen in love with this makeup finishing spray. Um, so I hope you will too. So those are a few of my, my little tips. Um, also, you can do it on your... Um, brows when you use a little spoolie brush to kind of like, um, uh, to comb through your brows and kind of set your eyebrows, you can use it there as well. Um, so there's multiple uses for this amazing makeup finishing spray. So um, please comment. Let me know if you found this tip helpful. Um, and, uh, and, you know, like, share, subscribe, all the things. And uh, I will catch you next time. So thanks 